Hey guys, thanks for watching, it's Mike Chen. Now, most of us may know that Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Well, technically the highest if you measure mountains above sea level. But let's talk about a mountain that is a lot bigger. Let's talk about the largest mountain in the solar system. Again, technically the largest mountain in the solar system is, well, it's a volcano. And the technicalities aside, to call it a giant is a gross understatement. This mountain is called Olympus Mons and is found near the Martian equator in the Tharsis Mountains region. This behemoth of landmass dwarfs even its own terrestrial cousins on the red planet. The tallest among them stands at 16 miles or 25 kilometers high and is roughly the size of the state of Arizona. And if you think, wow, that, that's pretty big already. Olympus Mons, on the other hand, is a lot bigger and it's about the size of France. And being named the famed mountain of the gods in Greek mythology is no mere coincidence. To put it in comparison to the tallest peaks on Earth, Olympus Mons is over three times higher than Everest, which stands at 5.5 miles of above sea level. And the next to Earth's tallest volcano, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, which stands at 6.3 miles above sea level, Olympus Mons standing at 16.7 miles from base to summit is still more than double its size. And if you would combine all the islands of Hawaii and all its volcanoes, they would all comfortably fit inside the Martian giants. And here's the thing, Olympus Mons towers even above the clouds of the Martian atmosphere. That's something no mountain on Earth could accomplish. And here's how it formed. While Olympus Mons is technically a volcano, it is one that does not erupt and is classified as a shield volcano, meaning that instead of spewing lava and volcanic material high in the air, it lets lava constantly flow down its sides. And this may be one of the reasons why Olympus Mons is so giant. And since Mars is absent of tectonic plates like Earth, volcanoes remain on top of so-called hotspots that continuously induce these slow and steady lava flows. So when lava flows out of the volcano's mouth, it builds up over time and becomes part of the surrounding landmass. In fact, Olympus Mons has such a large mass that it curves with the natural shape of the planet itself. And these hot spots are also responsible for the formation of other large Martian volcanoes. And these colossal giants in the Tharsis Mountains region are so large that they tower above dust storms that seasonally plague the red planet, a quality that was first observed by Giovanni Schiaparelli, an Italian astronomer in the late 19th century. Also among the unique features of Olympic Mons are six calderas or collapsed craters that sit on top of each other that gives the volcano's summit a depression that is about 53 miles wide. These calderas appeared over time when magma chambers were emptied out of lava and collapsed, unable to support the ground above it. Surrounding the outer edge of Olympus Mons is an escarpment that reaches six miles high and is comparatively as tall as Earth's largest volcano. Another interesting characteristic of Olympus Mons is that it could possibly have a depository of rock glaciers. Because of Mars's extraordinary climate, it may well be that snow and ice deposits could contribute in the creation of these frozen debris above the base of the volcano's shield. And since Olympus Mons and the volcanoes surrounding it are sitting on top of lava hotspots and continuously spilling out the volcanic material, and because there are no tectonic plates to shift them away from these spots, the solar system's largest volcano may still be growing in size even as we speak. Now obviously Olympus Mons is not the only mountain or volcano present in the solar system, but it is certainly the largest one out there. Across planets and asteroids, there are dozens of craters, mounds, and mountains that are massive in scale. And just to give you an idea of how gigantic Mount Olympus is compared to other terrain in the solar system, here are three of the other biggest players. Ascreus Mons, sitting at 11.3 miles high, is the tallest of the three volcanoes in the Tharsis Mountains and Mars near Olympus Mounts. First discovered by the Mariner 9 spacecraft in 1971, it was initially thought to be a large spot in a dust storm which was then called the North Spot. However, later images in the following years revealed that the North Spot was actually a giant volcano and was then appropriately renamed. Next, Equatorial Ridge of Lapis. This odd feature that appears on the moon of Saturn, which makes it appear like a walnut, is an equatorial ridge with this highest peak reaching 12.4 miles. Although scientists are still not sure as to how the moon obtains its unique ridges, theories suggest that it was either the remainder of the moon's original oblate shape or part of a collapsing ring. And finally, Resilvia Mons. This is a 13.2 mile tall mountain that sits in the center of a 300 mile wide crater on the asteroid Vesta. Some scientists would argue that Resilvia is the highest peak in the solar system, dwarfing Olympic Mons. But even with satellite observation, having to measure the exact height of the mountain is still tricky and up for debate. So it looks like until further study is conducted on Rio Sovia Mons or some other giant mountain is found somewhere in the solar system, the title for highest peak will still go to Olympus Mons. And like I mentioned before, because of the volcanic conditions on Mars and the planet's lack of shifting tectonic plates, there's still a lot of room for this volcano to grow. And of course, there are almost countless galaxies in this universe, and we don't even know 
know how big the universe is, so I'm sure there are a ton of mountains out there way bigger than Olympus Mons. But until then, this titan will remain the king of the mountains, well, at least in this solar system. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.